Hey guys, welcome back to Kuma Style Reviews. What we're looking at is Mastermind Creations, their Fella Saber, which is their homage to the Pretender Catilla, as well as the sixth part of Feral Rex. It combines with them to make it into a perfect mode. Even though he was an Autobot in the comics, or in the G1 cartoon actually, the comics, which this has the last part of in the instructions, show how it all kind of ties together. Also, one thing I wanted to point out about the instructions here, just maybe if third party companies watch these reviews and this and that, it's common in Japanese robot toys, but some of these ones aimed towards the Transformers fan base, you don't really see it often. It's just the layout of what comes in the box in terms of accessories and things like that. It's really nice, whether it's for resale or even for your own personal just upkeep to know what exactly all came with the toy. I'm a person that kind of throws things in an accessory box or an accessory bag, forgets about them if I'm not displaying them, and from there, you know. While we're at it, we'll go ahead and put his holsters correct there. Here's Fella Saber. And they really knocked it out of the park. And obviously it's a retool and redeco of Tigris, but he really makes a great standalone figure. I mean, it looks incredible. In terms of posability, I mean, ab crunch, multi-level waist swivel, double jointed elbows, like, it's just out of control. It's a really posable and just good toy. In terms of what he does come with, he comes with his blaster, the Catilla helmet, as well as... A little bonus. It's a figure of the Mastermind Creations mascot, Skin Penguin. And what's cool about this, I was actually going to give it away, but then I saw it's actually articulated. Same with the wings and stuff like that. An actual little movable, posable action figure. It's really cool. Definitely not something I'd buy the set for, but nice little add-on. As well as some things for Bose and Fortis. Heads, different red hooves. I don't know what's with the alternate face plates though. Same design, but I don't know if people were having issues with scratching or what, but replacements. Taking a look at him. Forgot that the weapons peg in at a particular angle. There he is with that. Now, the mask also doubles as a forearm guard. And the way it works is <clears throat> there's a tab that comes out under there, pegs into the forearm here. I am not perfect or anywhere near perfect at getting this right. And even right there, I had to take it off camera just to put it in. The way that I do it, I just take a look from above. You can see where the peg pegs into the hand and just aim it from there. But that's hard to do on camera. I actually have to hold it up to my face. So, But there it is. Once you get it in, it stays in decently. A cool placement for it. some of his posability here. It's not many poses this one can't do. It's just a good mold. Alright. Let's go on ahead and get him transformed into his cat mode. Gotta bring the shoulders down. All of that goes up.
Oh, with the legs. Reverse all that business. Now, one thing I like about the common transformation between them is that at least by the time you get to this one, you've kind of learned the little nuances, like in that foot, that whole up and over thing, and this and that. Tail out. Clip those in. Bring the toes up. Knee pads over. That's as good as snapping it together. Okay. Now you've got that. Just reverse it. Okay. And now you're seeing the upper half. Legs are easy. The whole hip piece just unpegs. Unpegs towards the back. Flip that out. And the whole leg flips out. The toe, put it back. Out. There we go. Transformed into his cat mode, ball jointed head. Plenty of movement in the shoulders and the feet. Lots of movement and bend in the legs there. Ball jointed feet themselves. Posable tail. Weapon storage. You just clip this onto the side. And the mouth does move. Just an awesome standalone figure, like I was saying. Okay. And the head. Of course, now I have problems with it. There we go. It just snaps on. There we go. And I like that he has that ab, ab crunch. It does swivel, but the crunch part to really give him that hunched over cat look. That's that. Now to get him into arm mode for Ultimate Feral Rex. Not too much different than what you see here. Let's utilize that double bend at the o elbow. Okay. Same. Reverse it. We're bending. We're bending again. And the thing is, they clip when you got a bit right, 
into his sides. I'll actually worry about that in a second. Get these feet back. I put that into the wrong peg. There we go. There we go. Kind of snaps into itself there. Let's see if we can have some better luck on this side. Jeez. I remember it fins so naturally. I was able to figure out the problem. With the shoulders, you have to make sure they're back in the up position. Where we had them down for the cat, make sure they're slid back up. Then you can double join it over. And pegs into the side. Alright. Let's organize that some. So this is going to be his left arm. So you want to make sure he's got the ab crunch and a bit of the hip crunch so you can get that up as far as possible. Get that fist in. All right. We'll put that there. His gun goes on the bottom of the main cannon. Peg it in. And peg it all in. Then we're going to zoom out. Now, Talon actually just pegs as a whole bird into the back of Feral Rex for this. Let's go ahead and get it over. Now, got to bring that face forward too. Alright. There we go. That is Feral Rex in his perfect mode. You can have him however you want. Switch up Bovis and Fortis so you have like same side, same side. But I actually like the cross there. But a pretty badass piece. I, I dig it. Not the most functional combiner, just in terms of posing and stuff like that. I do have my problems still with that. People were complaining about, you know, back heaviness and stuff like that. It's definitely not balanced by design with Talon sticking out so far in the back now. But he seems to still stand okay. And of course, once I say that, and that's because I don't have this piece for the ankle up. Definitely a big boy. A nice display piece. Not one that I really enjoy shooting because of the problems with. More complex poses and this and that, but man, he looks impressive. And once you get him into a pose, he's pretty stable. The thing is, just getting them from point A to point B. But there you have it. That is Feral Rex in his ultimate mode. Let me go ahead and give you guys a more topical view. Now at this point, most people have probably gotten the other five members of the Ferrorex team, 
but even if you haven't, I definitely recommend Fellow Saber as a standalone toy. He makes a great Catilla. Like, he's he's incredible. So just way he looks, the posability, the alt mode, I mean, it, it's really good. And the uh, Feral Rex Perfect mode is honestly just icing on the cake. But this has been another Kumasau review. Let me know what you guys think of it, and I'll see you guys next time.